Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a bonus one. I'm gonna be filming probably the most requested video I think across any budgeting YouTuber that uses an iPad. And I decided I would actually give you the video tutorial because I always try to comment it and it's never clear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for you guys today. Um, this is my iPad. I don't remember what generation it is. I think I bought it last year. That doesn't really matter. As long as you have an iPad, this tutorial would work for you. Uh, I do also wanna put a disclaimer in that the app we are going to be using today is not free. Um, I personally don't know of any dupes, but I'm sure there's a ton on the app store. As long as you can open um, a picture in the app, you should totally be fine. So, we're just gonna go ahead and dive right in. I'm also using an Apple Pencil. You don't necessarily need one on the app that I'm gonna be using. You can turn off Bluetooth. It is just easier to be able to write, um, but it can be any other like stylus pen that works. It doesn't have to be an Apple Pencil. So. To begin, let's say you just bought a template off Etsy. For example, I have paycheck spreads on my Etsy. Um, the one that we're going to be using today is not on my shop, but it probably will be in like an hour or two. Um, so, it's whenever you buy a spreadsheet, it usually comes with a PDF or the JPEG. Usually both, um, at least on my Etsy shop. So, we're going to act like we just bought it and open up Gmail. So, here is the PDF version of the paycheck spread that we're going to be using today. It is a little bit dark because I am using some natural light right now, but this is the PDF. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a screenshot, which on an iPad, you hit the lock button, as well as the home button, which you can't really see right now. But, we're just going to hit these both and take a screenshot. So with this screenshot, I'm going to crop it just to go ahead and, I didn't mean to do that, and get it smaller um, to a size that will be more workable. So we're going to go like right there. Um, that works for me. So I'm going to hit done, save to photos, and there it is. We're good to go. Okay. So now the app we're going to be using is called Good Notes. Like I said, it is not free. Um, there are likely dupes on the app store and stuff. I don't remember how much it was. I think maybe around like seven dollars But that is the app we are going to be using so I'm going to go ahead and open it up And this is what it looks like. I have two budget journals here. So that's what's there um, But yours will likely be blank if it's brand new So what you're gonna do is hit new and then you're gonna hit new notebook So the good thing about good notes is it literally lets you customize the notebook you want like you can choose a cover and everything we're just going to stick with this one and with the paper i like to use the dotted paper it comes with dotted paper squared ruled wide ruled all of those different options but i'm going to hit dotted paper and just name it budget demo um just for the sake of this video so i'm going to hit create and what it's going to do is pull up the journal that we just made with a first sheet of dotted paper. So a bonus little tip that you can do is hit the three dots up here. You can also hit, oh, sorry, hit scrolling direction. And you can have horizontal or vertical. I keep it on horizontal, which means I get to flip this way. So you can also label your journal if you just hit the text box. You can type in whatever you want. We'll just put budget for now. Um... Okay, yeah, I was going to make the text bigger, but you can do all of that up here and kind of just label your journal. But to get to what everybody wants, um, here is the dotted paper, which is the first page in the entire journal. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in just a little bit, just, well, I guess as far as my camera can go. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get started here. So you're going to get, well, first of all, get out of the text box. I don't know why I was still in there. Um, and you see this right here, that is going to be like the insert an image button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And then it brings up your most recent camera roll items. So I'm going to be hitting the first one, which is my paycheck breakdown. It just opened right in the center of my page. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out. So in my videos, I have this pasted twice. You can have it once, you can have it twice. It just depends on the size of the actual image. Like, for example, if you had more sinking fund blanks, it would likely not be this small, um, making it a little bit more difficult to paste twice. What we're just gonna go ahead and do is go with one for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay it wherever I want it to go. You can literally place it like wherever but you can only adjust the placement when you are hitting the image button if you hit like the pen you can no longer move it it just becomes one so there's that now to go ahead and add in your categories you're going to hit this button right here which is the text one so i'm going to zoom you guys back in okay so when you hit the text button Oh, I used the wrong PDF, but it's fine. <laughs> um, if I sell this on my shop, it'll be the one that's closed. So I'm going to go ahead and just type literally wherever on the screen. I'm going to adjust it to size 
18 that usually fits the best at least for this specific spread all of that will vary just depending on the size of your image and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and just put gas and we'll drag it over here then usually what I like to do is copy this um, because that way it'll keep the size the same and I don't have to adjust it every time so gas next let's say we have food so you'll basically just do this for all your categories and just fill in everything on your spread so now let's say you do want to paste it twice you're gonna hit this button right here which is a lasso button and you're gonna go ahead and circle the entire thing because that'll capture the picture as well as every word you typed that way you don't have to type it like every time you want a budget and what you're gonna do is hit you're gonna like tab on the thing and it brings this up so you're gonna hit copy and then right here you're gonna go ahead and hold and hit paste and then there it is right there and you can place it second on the page so now that gets you one page okay but let's say I ran out of those and I need another spread so this is like probably the easiest way to do this you're gonna hit this button up here that has four cubes next to each other and when you hit that, it shows you your cover as well as literally every page you have in your journal. So you're going to hit select, tap the photo you want to copy, hit copy, and then you can go ahead and literally just paste it like absolutely however many times you want. So this is usually what I do so that I don't have to edit it every time I'm about to sit down and film. So we'll just play, paste it once more. And then you're going to hit close and it's going to take you to the last page in your book. So if you scroll up, that's where it'll take you back to the beginning. So that is basically how you do this. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I missed, definitely let me know below. Um, but yeah, and then to actually write in it, you would hit the pen button right here. Choose your size. You can change, sorry, you can change the point or like the thickness, I guess, of your writing tool and then you just write in the blanks and do whatever you want there so I think that's pretty cool I love this app it's probably my favorite one. Oh, not somebody hogging so that is how you do this please let me know down below if you guys have any more questions at all I hope that this was pretty clear um it's a super easy to use app but I do understand that not everybody is gonna have seven dollars to just spend on something so if you are able to get this app, I do think it is well worth the money. But again, let me know below if you have any questions. I do have a PDF paycheck breakdown on my Etsy shop if you are interested. It is not this one though. Um, however, I may be listing this one. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one.